I'll take a look at the rares with you, then I'll put it on uncommon view, then I'll uh, be right back. Temple, Skyland, Cavalier of Night, two, black, black, black. Four, five, lifelink, uh, whenever enters the battlefield, you may sacrifice another creature. When you do destroy target creature and opponent controls, so you're throwing your creatures at theirs. When it dies, return target creature card with converted mana cost three or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. Kind of a weird set of abilities that I don't exactly understand the flavor of what's going on here, but it's a lot of powerful value, so. All right, if you can cast it. Oh, Dungeon Geist is great. Remember, this is a reprint. Um, man, if you can basically two for one them by taking a creature out of commission with this and then fly in for the win over the next few turns, that's great. A couple of uh, many mythics here. Look at all these mythics. Omnath, Locus of the Royal, is one teamer. So one green, blue, red for a 3-3 three, three legendary creature, elemental. When Omnath Locus of the Royal enters the battlefield, it deals damage to any target equal to the number of elementals you control. So at least one. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, put a plus one, plus one counter on target elemental you control. If you control eight or more lands, draw a card. Okay, so eventually that gets there. We that seems good. Maybe Maybe we're just teamer. Like, look at this teamer action going on here. I don't even know what Reclaimer does, though. Three or more. Uh, so it gets big if there are three or more, and you can pay two, sack, sack a land. Hmm. I don't know if that's playable for us. But interesting. It's fixing, but is it... Yeah, we'll see. Maybe, maybe we need it if we're going to go three color, but I think we want to play all these. I don't even know what Chandra does, but I'm assuming we want to play her. Oh man, pile up the emblems. Three damage to each. Yeah, we're gonna be trying to play these, huh? All right, so I'm gonna continue here. I'm gonna put it into uh, uncommon view and then I'll be right back, okay? So let's go like this and I'll show you uncommons. You can browse those and I'll be right back. Well, Grave Digger, that's exciting. Disfigure. Forget what we saw in the rares. I guess we were looking at team or rares, huh? But wow, these uncommons make me want to play black. Uh, Fen Lurker, not so great. But not, not terrible. Rat Burglar of sorts. I suppose if we like the Rat Burglar, we like that. Um, let's see what else we got. You're going, unfortunately, nothing really to help our our teamer plans. Well, let's take a look at a teamer deck and then look at, take a look at taking advantage of that strong black uncommons. So I'm going to start by looking at a teamer build. Oh my goodness, two clouds. These are great. These are great. That's great, great. Maybe playable, fine, fine. Yeah. Yeah, we're playing that. Maybe these are playable. Uh, let's see, we'll run it now and decide what we're cutting. Dragon. Chandra, reduce ashes seems fine. This is the one. I don't know if it's worth it for the fixing. Maybe the masses is good. Hope we don't play these, but I'm going to put them in just to see what curves we have available to us. Hmm, maybe for sealed this isn't the worst, but I'm not excited by it. We'll put it in for now, though. All right, what does this look like? 
What does our teamer deck look like? And what do we like about it? We like Chandra, of course. I kind of like the red blue more than what's going on in the green per se. Green seems pretty replaceable here. I wonder if we can just get rid of it and see if what we can do about blue red. Yeah, really, Chandra is the only thing we have going in red. Maybe we look at blue black. Can we get? A, can we not play Chandra? Is that? I'm just looking at what blue-white would look like, but I don't think it's quite there. Hmm. Well, Troubles don't have much fixing for any... Three color build. I'm not a big fan of three colors, no fixing. Although sometimes in limited, you got to, in, in sealed especially, you got to do what you got to do. But let's add some black. Where are most foul? I think we have to play the black. We just black red. Splash blue. So we have this one land. I'm gonna play that dungeon geist, but maybe not on a splash. Well, we have two towards the uh, red splash. We could quote splash Chandra. What if we try this? Or maybe splash these three. Two treasure tokens, so uh, one source could help splash the Chandra. Um, what are we cutting to get there? Blade Brand, yeah, Blade Brand can go. Maybe one Octo. No, I'm not cutting I'm not cutting divination from a Grixis control deck. No way. Kind of like the anticipate as well here. I think this is fine. Reset press press asks, what do you think is the best thing we can learn about draft from sealed if anything? Uh we can learn a lot. Mainly and this is why I think uh, bot drafting is fine as well. Like the, uh, 
The thing that's most valuable for us today is understanding common interactions, and I don't mean necessarily rarity level, but we want to see regularly occurring interactions in the set on the battlefield so we can better prepare and learn for what instance we need to be playing around and just generally correcting our own impressions of the set through revelation of information we didn't see before. And yeah, let's uh, let's give this a shot. Uh, also, let's check land though. I don't know if we need this many. So I guess I want to have four for for Chandra because four. We basically have five sources for Chandra with rapacious dragon. Yeah, so. Well, we've got triple black, double black here. So I think black is, so this gives us seven, eight black and eight, seven, four. Yeah. Yeah, we could also like go down, to, we go to 18 land. I'm just gonna go with this though. Again, not too concerned whether our build is perfect. Just want to be uh, testing out builds. And I'm gonna thank my sponsor heading in here to this game one. Thank you, Card Kingdom. I'm sponsored by Wizards today as well, but of course my sponsor Card Kingdom is sponsors me every day. You can go to cardkingdom.com or check out my affiliate link down below in the panels. And see all the things they have available for you to purchase and use. Well, all right. We'll, uh, we're, we're gonna find our blue and keep this, no problem. I mean, you, you play three color fairly evenly balanced three color, you're gonna have these kinds of problems. We're just gonna go for it. Blue, 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 blue. No blue yet. still mocking us um i'll attack trade one for one here while they want to Hey, Alpha Ferg. I'm not sure how long I'm going to stream today. Can I play it by ear a little bit? Not forever, but till significantly after noon, I would say. When I, I also might do the thing where I take a long midday break and come back for another round. Do I like it? Sure. I get to play the new set for no dollar expenditures. Tough digging, digging graves in the desert. Probably, I can't remember. Does the does the activated? I I think this does more what you want as a one three with a late game effect. I like a one three with a late game effect better than a two one with a late game effect. That makes sense. Uh. Getting worked over here by lack of blue, but it's a chance we took on this keep. Yeah, opportunist is seven mana as well, but does it does it drain for two or for one? I forget exactly what opportunist even activates for at this point. Drain is pretty powerful, you know, gaining life at that point. I 
Finding a need to go fast? I'm not sure what you mean, Ubermensch. Uh, this is rough. I'm gonna go ahead and get back creature just so we're doing some stuff. Uh, these threaten to combine to one for one for that Forcer at least, and if we get more land, we can Meteor Golem the Shaman away. Yeah, Ape is great, huh? to say was sealed i mean it hasn't seemed super fast but maybe faster than i'd expect from sealed but you know played all the four games here or whatever so hardly drawing any conclusions loose play how have i played loose i mean i don't i'm not uh, all uptight about results here but I don't see you, uh, I don't see you calling out for any punts, Dionysus. You're loose. Your mom's really nice, I bet. What do we got? Oxaciano. All right, we'll keep this. Try again. Hey, 14. How are you? I was gonna say it's pretty unlikely for us to want to murder anything uh, that Oppo could do on two, and yet that's pretty murderable, I would say. Uh, however, we do have a ground blocker to eat the tapped and attacking soldier. However, if they do anything to kill our sorcerer, then it starts to get a little awkward. You know, if they pacify it or whatever, I'm not. Of course, uh, they're playing red-white, so they can't counter this murder or anything, so I'm going to go ahead and pass and at least uh, see what they want to do. Yeah, we do have Geists. All right. Since they haven't done anything to remove it, and we have a blocker, we'll not use the murder quite yet. God's willing is a reasonable call out. Press. Someone was asking what you know, what, what kind of value we get out of today, and honestly, having things like uh, God's willing burned into our memories through running into it for with nothing on the line is a is a good good thing that can happen today. Um. We could like murder the sentry, they put the counter here, and then we geist the vanguard, or we could do it the other way around. Actually, I like it the other way around. I'm just gonna murder the, the vanguard here and uh, geist the sentry. Double grave digger, not bad. Ah, 
Mapo has a pet. Look at. We can go buy pets, I suppose. How old do I think you are? Thirty-four. Twenty... Somewhere between twenty-eight and thirty-four. Demo. Bottom of library... What do we got here? Uh, whenever it attacks, choose target elemental creature card in your graveyard with toughness less than Thunder, Kin, Awakeners. Uh, toughness. Return that card. So, uh, elemental. That's no elementals. So, is a year off on my first guess? That's pretty good. Uh, I guess we have to anticipate. I want to find some land here, if nothing else. And we don't. I don't want to play any of these uh, grave diggers. Chandra is all well and good, but we cannot cast her, so we'll take winged words and find some action. Hopefully, that's pretty actiony. Average age of my viewership is probably, I would guess, in mid twenties. Be my guess. Some old school magic players, no doubt, but some youngsters as well. What'd we get? A mountain. I uh, can't grave dig anything of relevance yet. Bishop of Wings. I don't know what exactly they're doing here. I guess we keep attacking. Dionysus thinks 32. I think that's a little old. I probably attract a bit of an older audience, but not like. I mean, 32 is a high average, I think. You get to pump here, right? So I guess we just try and uh... what's going on? We can do this and then this. Just keep, take dungeon geist. I kept two black in case we wanted to take this, but we don't want to do that yet. Let's just take the geists. Stay back. Yeah. 
blade is nice. Dionysus, you're 34 years old. You can calculate the average. But I would also say that calculating the average has very little actual value because you're talking about the average of a handful of people who said something in chat. I don't know what, what data you're looking to take away from that. Uh, I'm not sure what Oppo is up to here. Maybe they're just... Um, I guess they get this uh, spitter back every time, huh? But we're going to tap this down now. Actually, we just kill it. Why don't we just kill it? Sure. They can throw the blade onto their 2-5 and have one clean attack, but then we get Geiss to tap it down. And they don't seem to care about throwing away creatures? I don't know. Oppo is playing more loosely with uh, their VIP account than you could accuse me of doing, that's for sure. Let's Gravedigger for a Gravedigger. It's a classic. Sorry, anybody, uh, I'll, I'll try uh, on new cards especially to hover over. Another beverage, hold on. Yep, looks like we're playing against Evan Irwin here. Um, let's just start with a Lynx. Yeah, it sure feels like bone to ash mana, so we're not going to fall for that. We got murder. Let them do what they want. <clears throat> I 
I mean, I have a 401k, which basically means stock market investment, but I'm not like an active day trader or anything like that. Uh, we'll take the two, see if he offers us, offers us uh, anything better to murder, and then go ahead and accept the murder of the cutthroat at end of turn if nothing better is played here. We can draft in an hour? I, I, all Everything I read says that today is uh, sealed only, but maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Okay. A 401k is a retirement plan uh, in the U.S. that basically means um, <clears throat> you set aside money from your paycheck and it gets, uh, it's taxed, it, you can deduct that from your taxes. Basically, you don't pay, it's income you don't pay taxes on until you withdraw it at retirement and it generally gets put into different funds that are, I mean, it doesn't have to be the stock market, but it tends to heavily be the stock market. Tax Deferred Saving Plan. Thank you for the simple explanation. Uh, okay, I want to murder that air elemental, but if we... Oh, and we have a flyer, so we can go ahead and uh, draw some cards, and then murder as a backup plan. I did not read the archetype breakdown, no. Well, that's unfortunate. We're going to lose our Dungeon Geist to Executioner Exile. And we won't be able to Grave Dig it back. Um, I'm going to go with uh, Octo Prophet. See if we can find some help. Hmm, that's not bad. I mean, it's going to... It threatens to trade with a spirit, but it draws a card when it enters. So I think we can keep that. And then I uh, don't want more islands, though. Oh yeah, thanks. I'll uh, been sitting here playing all day with bad info. That much is correct.
You know, Dionysus, I'm actually not sure why it's called, called 401k, but I bet it's some reference to some tax code or something, not an actual dollar amount or anything. What's up, Evan? I have some meme ideas. I uh, floated them by my son yesterday, but didn't get them implemented in time for today. But stay tuned. Evan has abandoned us. Come on, Evan. Why are you gonna be like this? Well, we got a powerful mythic and a powerful mythic and we can't cast either currently. Uh, sure, fiddles. Nope, no teases, Dionysus. Does Evan have kids? I think he's got all the kids. Well, I would want to get one more real play out of this deck. Does M20 look fun? Well, it's playing like a magic set, so it's fun. I haven't been particularly impressed or unimpressed at this point. I like this a lot. Oh yeah, we got the London Mulligan in the house. Guess I haven't mulled yet today. Right on, uh, Numenor. Thanks for hanging. No real, no real gems in the line. All kind of a practice day, test the set day. Wait for AFK Opponents Day, apparently. Am I the, like, Evan was gone and now... I mean, we saw them mulligan, so I guess they're tanking about it. Just sear it up. Seems great. Streamers talk a lot? I wouldn't know what you're talking about there. Ah, oh, there's a new planeswalker I haven't seen. What's going on here? Muyan Ling, Skydancer. 
sky is my domain. One target creature gets minus two, minus zero, and loses flying. Okay, you've brought that down to earth. Uh, you're at four loyalty, and at minus three, you create. Yikes. Um, yeah, that's that's real. We're gonna be facing this. We gotta get some action on the ground or action down. Try and take this thing out. Um, and to that end, let's go Octo Prophet, and then um, we have Frost Links and Disfigure to follow this up. Ooh. We like all that. Yeah, I'm gonna keep all that. I think what we want to do actually here is, depending on what we see, hopefully they don't cast another creature or something. If if the board stays like this, we get to just attack in at the Planeswalker. They probably block the Octopus, and we can disfigure for good value. But uh, if they play another creature, we might not be able to follow through on that line successfully. Or at least not without being a little obvious, because if they play something else, we can Frost Links it and still technically have that line. But it will be pretty suspicious for us to Frost Links something other than the 4-4 if they play a different creature. So we'll see what they do and then think about what we want to try and get away with. Yeah, actually, well, let's just Frost Links the uh, Flyer for now, and we'll try to get it with the Disfigure later. And what we want to do here is keep the dis. Well, we could Disfigure the Elemental, but I almost don't care. Like, now I guess we want the Prophet... We're going to use the Disfigure on the Elemental uh, at some point. Then we probably leave the Prophet back right now. Because this is the only thing that plus Disfigure actually takes this out, is the thing. So yeah, um, not thrilled to not challenge that Overgrowth Elemental, but I am going to take out the Planeswalker. It was washed away. I guess having... Cause you could take the wing words as well. Yeah, I'm gonna take the words here. Oh, that's not bad, another Frost Links. Keep that thing tapped down, get aggro. I didn't offer Octopus for Elemental on the theory that eventually the 5-5 five five may block the 3-3, three three, in which case we could use the Disfigure to take out the 5-5. Five five. With the Frost Links, that was in We didn't know about the Frost Links. It gives us some more, uh, some more options. But if they don't do anything else here... Well, now it's too big to disfigure. 
but we can lynx it. Come in pretty hard. If they want to loot, that's another thing. Ooh, nice, nice, nice. Well, let's go with Lynx and Seer here, I think, is what I want to do this turn. And a murder. I think we're looking in excellent shape now. Hey, Hat. Thank you for that. Get our bash on here. Next turn we have Dungeon Geist with... Uh, if we draw a land, we have Dungeon Geist plus Murder. That's crazy. If we don't, we have Dungeon Geist plus Disfigure. The trouble with ideas of going back to Cons of Tarkir for a, a wedge block or whatever is that that world doesn't exist anymore creatively, right? It was a whole time travel thing, and and that world was... like... Sarkon, like... changed it all? I thought that... I thought we were kind of in can't-do-that stage. Right, it's not... that's my point. It's, it's more... it's Dragons of Tarkir land, not Cons of Tarkir land. I think we got this. Well, can't play Chandra if we take her, so I guess we'll take the temple. So far, splashing Chandra has been very greedy. I don't even know what she does yet, because we've never had the ability to cast her. Um, I guess we play the swamp so we can have murder and disfigure here and just try and win. Reset press, I mean, anything is possible, but creative cares. They're not gonna... They're not gonna disregard their story just because technically they're Wizards of the Coast and they can. Those are wild cards. You can redeem wild cards for any card of the same rare... Some say I never heard of you, a rap burglar. Thank you, Paleo. Appreciate that. Go to the deck builder to use your wild cards. All right, we've played this four times now, although one was kind of a non-game. Let's uh, let's quit on this one. <laughs> 